Hello again. How far would you go for sheer spite? Would you, for I don't know, no particular reason, steal a military helicopter in an active military base, get into an aerial police chase, and then try and land on what might just be the most heavily defended location in the world? No? Well, here's the man that would. Robert Preston was born in 1953 in the only place he could have been born. Florida. After high school, he joined the United States Army with the dream of being a dust-off pilot, pretty much the guy that came to evac you when the trees started speaking a bit too much Vietnamese. However, he failed part of his training, which would effectively end his flying career. Robert, well, thought that this was some utter bull but couldn't really do much about it. Still, in contract with the army, he was shipped off to Maryland to be a helicopter mechanic. While stationed here, he adapted to normal life, with his colleagues stating that he was a smart and generally normal guy. However, he still yearned for the sky, and one day, after a bad breakup, he spotted a row of helicopters just completely unguarded on the airstrip. The intrusive thoughts won, and he decided he was going to prove his worth as a pilot. He drove onto the tarmac and got into a helicopter, started it, and prepared it for takeoff. And nobody stopped him. He took off and just started to buzz random locations nearby, and at this time, the base personnel were like, Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh sh! The alarm was raised. Meanwhile, Robert decided that he wanted to see some of the famous landmarks down in DC. Fun fact about DC, it's all restricted airspace. But that didn't stop Robert. He went from monument to monument, just checking them out from the air. While DC was restricted airspace, there were no immediately combat-ready sand missiles in the area, which is why he wasn't immediately obliterated. He then thought that he would like to end his very illegal tour with the White House. So he flew towards the White House and just hovered above it, checking it out while the Secret Service were in DEFCON oh shit, 1 mode. Not good. They couldn't really shoot him down because the wreckage of the helicopter could crash into a building, or worse. So they just stared at each other for a bit, until a few police helicopters arrived. Stop! You violated the law! And a long game of cat and mouse began over the nation's capital. Funnily enough, Robert proved his worth by making very well-timed and difficult maneuvers, proving to be a very skilled pilot and using modern dogfight tactics to evade police. This came as quite a surprise to the police pilots because the police were basically told that some guy with no flying experience had just hijacked a helicopter. Still, even with his cool moves, Robert realized that there was no escape. He decided that if he was gonna go out, he was gonna go out in style. He would give himself up to Nixon himself. He turned towards the White House to make his landing approach and just barely missed the picket fence. At this point, the Secret Service was, for lack of a better term, done with his shit and opened fired, peppering the Huey with bullets and hitting Robert himself five times. Robert, despite his injuries, showed incredible skill by landing the Huey cleanly. Robert was then tackled, arrested, and then taken to a hospital for treatment, where apparently he was laughing maniacally, like I would too if I just trolled the government like that. Meanwhile, DC residents awoke to find a shot up Huey on the White House lawn, which became a major attraction. In court, Preston was threatened with over 100 years in prison, with charges like attempted murder and even conspiracy to kill the president. No, that's a lot of damage. Though Preston had no such intention, even if he did, Nixon killed his own presidency six months later. Robert Preston was court-martialed and sentenced to six months in prison. Which, I mean, the prosecution maybe kinda dropped the ball on that one, like, a hundred years to six months? It almost seems like kinda worth it. Like, I would steal a Huey, fly into restricted airspace, and give myself a tour of- Oh god. Wait, guys, I didn't mean it! No way! Uh, anyway, after prison, Preston would live a quiet, peaceful life. After a just blatant breach in security, the government took measures to protect DC airspace to make sure this never happened again. It then promptly happened again 20 years later. 